Hello everyone, this is Nanya Bish and I am currently a second year student at IIT Kanpur pursuing B.Tech in Civil Engineering and today we have with us Yogesh Shabla and he is from IIT Kharagpur and he is currently pursuing an integrated B.Tech and M.Tech course in Agricultural and Food Engineering. So over to you Yogesh, could you introduce yourself? Sure, thank you so much Nanya. So my name is Yogesh Shabla. I am a fourth year undergraduate student of the Department of Agriculture and Food Engineering and Nolan Institute to take the course at IIT Kharagpur and my research interests lie in applications of AI in agriculture and I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much. Great. So my first question to you is that what made you choose this branch or in other words if I ask that what were the other branches that you were getting in other colleges that you rejected to get this one? Sure. So if I talk about like uh, it all started from that the, in the first round I got I was getting like electronics department in NIT Delhi Okay. and some like known circuital departments in okay. new IITs and then this like agriculture department and geology department and IIT Roorkee and IIT Kharagpur respectively. So uh, my preference was agriculture being that uh, since I am from Haryana hmm. so I've seen the agriculture the scope of that and everything in right. my family and my relatives and my friends and everywhere and uh, like we all know that agriculture is the future in our country right. and everywhere. So considering that, I opted that field because in the future, I want to do some business or start mm -hmm. my startup or go into that, basically. Right, right, great. So uh, what is basically agricultural and food technology? If you could like explain it in layman's language to a student who might be watching. Sure, thank you. So uh, just by the name, everyone thinks about agriculture as farming. But trust me, it's not. It's actually right. way more deeper and bigger than that. So it, just in IIT Kharagpur, we have five branches inside our department, mm -hmm. which are, for example, land and water resources, food right. engineering, agriculture, machinery, aquaculture, which is the study of fishes and all. So there are so like there are so many like you know verticals inside our department, right. and there is so much to do. So right. yeah. So, uh, what are the job uh, responsibilities of an agricultural engineer, basically? Sure. So, major uh, in terms of job sector, like major things is that, first of all, uh, agriculture machinery, we all have heard about John Deere and other, you know, Tata and all those companies who make tractors and agriculture equipments. One could be that. Another could be food processing side, which are Nestle and other companies that make food products. Right? Other is like uh, water, land and water resources, the companies who makes pumps and all tube wells and all those things. So there right. is huge scope. And other than that, the major thing I, I believe is that research. So hmm. the conventional farming is done. Now that the population is increasing and we need right. more resources, more food with less resources. So we need to do more research. So that is the major thing. Right, right, great. So, um, what do you uh, think, in your opinion, uh, how tough or easy was this branch to study? Uh, I would say it, it's comparatively easy compared to some circuited departments like electrical. But I think all the known circuited departments are almost the same because hmm. these are basic sciences, right? right so, right. and our department specifically covers everything, starting from biology to chemistry to mechanics. To computer science everything so different applications of in our department uh, actually helped us to learn different skills which hmm. covered everything which i know so that was really great right great so what were the major courses and electives that you studied so far in this branch if you could name a few sure so our hd used to say that a uh, bachelor's is like you are you know, you know everything, but you don't know anything. It's right. like that you explore everything, but you're not a master of anything. Exactly. So in terms of exploration, we have explored everything, starting from uh, agriculture machinery. Uh, we did all all the things like which mm. mechanics, uh, mechanical people do, like right? Mm. Because just to study tractor, we know need to know the mechanics behind that. So one branch could be that, another could be just the basic food courses like food engineering, right. Right. Uh, something like that. And then land and water resources. Inside that, we read about tubes and pumps and the different irrigation methods and everything. Uh, other was a basic course on aquaculture. So, yeah, these were the major things. Right. So, uh, I think that was a great insight and introductory uh, introduction, basically, to that this branch. So, uh, moving on, and if you talk about internships and placements, so could you share your own internship experience a bit? 
sure so personally i haven't done any internship in corporate yet but my all the internships were in, uh, were actually research internships right right so and after the summers of two, in the summers of 2020 i did two summer research internships which were remote uh, one was in purdue university another was in washington state university both of these universities are very good in agriculture research so again my area of research is applications of deep learning in agriculture specifically and till since that time i'm working in the same and after that next year i went to iowa state university that okay. was an on site university uh, uh, internship so i went there that was an amazing experience okay. and for the next summers i have two opportunities one in japan and one in canada through my techs so i get to decide which one i'm going to pursue right great so uh, if you talk about placement so what are the major companies that come to your college to recruit people if it talk specifically about the core of this branch and like what sure. are the roles that are offered sure so i'll be very honest that the uh, opportunities in core is very hmm. less right. this is the reality hmm. uh, but still we have some opportunities and the major roles are for specifically uh, mechanical engineering side for example the john deere tata and some the companies that make tractors so those companies recruit students in the role of uh, mechanical engineering side right right second role could be food processing side so the companies like nestle britannica and all those companies those companies recruit in the, in the side of food engineering hmm. so these are the major roles i can tell and yeah these also have quite significant number of offers so yeah this is good right great so if you talk about your own batch so uh, if you could just tell us a ratio or a ratio of how many people from your batch are going for like job opportunities in core and non core as well and how many are going for like uh, researches and in some similar fields sure so not exact percentage but right, our right. Rough estimate would rough be estimate. that uh, 10 to 20 percent people are going in core job opportunities, and mm-hmm. then other 20 to 30 percent people are going for higher studies, and the rest of them uh, sit for non-core uh, no, opportunities like consulting, mm. computer science, or anything. Very right, great. So I think that was it about internships and placement. Moving on and talking a little bit more about your non-academic life. So, uh, just wanted to ask us that how uh, good has it been so far to be a student at one of the most prestigious institutes of the country how has your own experience been so far thank you for the question so i believe that iits are known for its culture right right so like definitely and specifically kharagpur being the oldest iit you right. can see that it is known for its mm-hmm. culture so we all know that the major things are society cells and clubs mm-hmm. so i've been a part of an ngo uh, named as gopal youth welfare society which was an amazing experience for me mm-hmm. other right. than that i was an undergraduate researcher at uh, autonomous crown vehicle so it right. is a research group that focuses on creating autonomous vehicles and work on all aspects of starting from hardware embedded to software uh, other than that i personally was the department representative of my department last year so that too was an amazing experience for me other than that yeah so basic things are like i love to play volleyball chess right. and other things so yeah that is like that things are always there right right great you've explored quite a lot of fields and that's really great to know about your experience so uh, the next question that i'm going to ask like is really popular among the students who are uh, currently going to join the colleges or uh, and they have this sort of confusion that whether they should go for a better branch or a better college so what's your take on this thank you for the question so i personally believe that uh, this is the same dilemma which i had 3 4 years ago right uh, and my decision always was like i will always prefer college over department hmm. because at the end it's all about the people you are going to stay with right exactly. so your, your surroundings will depend on what you are going to do so i think that my decision for that and hmm. trust me after coming to any iit old iit right. it's never about your department you are going to exactly. learn every possible right. skill which you can learn mm-hmm. so it will never be a case that i am not a student of cs department so i can't learn that trust exactly. me when i said i work in dl i actually work just in the same things which are cs student mm-hmm. is doing so right. there's no difference the only thing is he is applying in his department i am applying the same skill in my department right so right. again the my major suggestion would be always choose a good college over department 
Hmm. Great. That was uh, great to know about your own experience and insights. I think that's it for the interview. Uh, we just have one last question uh, before ending this. So, and that is like, what is your message to all the students who might be watching this? Any like final message that you want to give to them? Sure. Thank you. So my message would be: don't uh, take like your results too seriously. Right. Uh, just enjoy the process. Trust me, a single decision of your life can't change anything. Uh, if you think that you didn't work, like did very well in the J advanced exam, mm. so like your life is finished. It's not like that. Whatever, wherever you are going at the end, you just have to give your best there. And automatically, you will get the opportunities to learn all the skills there. And right. after certain uh, amount of years, you will realize that these things will never matter or what will matter is like your life experience, what you learned, right. how right. many good friends you made and where you want to go at then. So that is it. Have fun. Enjoy the process and just keep learning. Keep doing the hard work. Very right. great. Right. That was a beautiful message. And I'm sure the students who will watch this will be inspired by your interview. So thank you for this. I'll just...